textual lean system that allows you to naturally lean around obstacles without adding button combinations. It's intuitive and seamless. We've also added a new mantling system. This allows you to move fluidly over objects while not losing momentum, whether low mantling while firing your weapon or jump mantling from rooftop to rooftop. And one of my new favorites is the knee slide. This is a way to naturally transition from sprinting to crouch or prone. This allows you to maintain momentum as you move through the world. All of these new movements are designed to enhance the experience and controls you already know. So as I mentioned earlier, audio was a key focus in developing our new engine. In particular, creating an audio design that complemented all of our new graphical enhancements. So some of the new features we've added are an ADS-based, ADSR-based reverb system, reactive emitters, and locational battle chatter. So let's take a look. The next-gen audio engine in Call of Duty Ghosts will help the player really feel enveloped and connected to their environment. We have greatly improved our player connection to the world through audio. One of the ways that we did that is through the new reverb engine. It's a much more realistic algorithm that works for interiors. It changes real time as you walk into a different area. So a giant metal large space would sound completely different from a small carpeted room. There is definitely an advantage having the reverb and multiplayer. You will be able to know when people are inside your space. One new multiplayer feature that we've upgraded in Call of Duty Ghosts is what we call locational battle chatter. Contact shooters in that restaurant! Not only will your teammates tell you when a grenade goes out or when they kill an enemy, now they'll tell you when they've actually spotted an enemy near a landmark. Hostiles taking positions near the totem pole! Tango's in the courtyard! We're really excited about this feature and how it's going to bring people together online and work as a team. They're coming through the back entrance! Other additions to the next-gen engine for audio is something that we call reactive emitters. Little nodes that we place on actual objects in the game that react to an explosion. When you throw a grenade and it explodes over there, I might hear something behind me that is actually reacting to the shock wave. The next-gen platforms will really offer us a lot more flexibility in just pure quality. It will really, really enhance the overall Call of Duty experience. Enemies over by the jump zone. I got movement in the intersection. Target sighted on that bridge. So it's important for all of our fans to know that the current gen versions are benefiting from all the new tech we're putting into Call of Duty Ghosts. And this includes all of the gameplay features that were discussed today. This will be the best looking current gen version of Call of Duty we've ever made. All right, so let's touch on eSports. Call of Duty took competitive gaming to a new level last year with Treyarch and Black Ops 2. The Call of Duty Championship held back in April was a huge success and a lot of fun to watch. With Call of Duty Ghosts, we're continuing to support competitive gaming. The Call of Duty Championship presented by Xbox returns in 2014. Additionally, Call of Duty Ghosts will be the exclusive first person action game and flagship title on the MLG Pro Circuit in 2014. So stay tuned for more esports info in the weeks to come. But enough talk. Let's see some live gameplay. Please welcome to the stage two of the best Call of Duty shoutcasters in the world and the guys that announced the Call of Duty World Championship, Fwiz and Benson. That's right, we're used to casting matches featuring some of the best Call of Duty players in the world, but to be honest, to have the privilege to cast the first ever live Call of Duty Ghost match is something special. 
But obviously in order to do that, we're gonna need some players. So for this exhibition match, we wanted to go out, we got the toughest guys in the world, and then we teamed them together with some of the best players in the world. And the pros that are about to take the stage certainly aren't the toughest guys in the world, that's not who I'm talking about, but it's our US Marines. So let's go ahead and bring out our teams. On our Federation squad, from left to right, Call of Duty pro player Nate Shot from Optic Gaming. You've got Clayster from Complexity Gaming and Liar from Curse Gaming. Joining them from the US Marines are gonna be Private First Class Malacio from Rockford, Illinois, Corporal Plow from Shawnee, Oklahoma, and Lance Corporal Kelly from Oakland, California. That's right, Fwiz. I've got over here Team Ghosts from left to right, Call of Duty pro players, Big Timer from Optic Gaming. We've got JCap from Team Envious, and of course, TP from Complexity Gaming. And joining them from the US Marines, we've got Lance Corporal Rodriguez from Denver, Colorado, Sergeant Garces from San Angelo, Texas, and from the US Navy, HM1 Samuel from San Diego, California. All right, so yeah, there you go, you're my boy. So now that we got the teams all locked up, let's talk about the new game mode we're gonna be playing. It's gonna be Cranked. As Mark mentioned earlier, this is a new take on everyone's favorite game mode, Team Deathmatch. But here's the twist. Every time you get a kill, you start a 30 second timer. If you fail to get a kill within those 30 seconds, you hurt, you explode, and you die. It's that simple. So, for every kill that you get, you get one of Call of Duty's favorite perks. So, that's Last Stand, Martyrdom, and of course, Painkiller. Now, I'm just kidding. Look, you guys are all like, what? No, I'm just kidding. None of that's in the game anymore. I've spent a lot of time playing with it. So, for every time you actually get a kill, you get something that's gonna make you quicker. So, like sleight of hand, extreme conditioning, uh, quick draw stalker. So as the, as, the client, as the clock is ticking down, you just become faster and faster as the time's dwindling down on the clock. So I guess ultimately what I have to say here is if you're a camper, good luck. That's all I gotta say to that. So Benson, we got the teams, we got the game mode all figured out. What map are you gonna play on? Well, you know, Fwiz, for me, it has to be Strike Zone. So Strike Zone is a really small war-torn baseball stadium. It is small, it promotes fast-paced gameplay, and you're going to get into a ton of close quarter combat. It's the perfect map for this mode of play. You know what, Fwiz? Let's go to the casting Let's booth. Let's go to the booth. All right, guys. Get ready for this match. <laughs> Chibot! <laughs> All right, as we're gonna kick it off, we're gonna jump in the eyes of Big Timer. Big Timer is a member of Optic Gaming. He's also a 13-time champion. He's the most successful player in the history of Call of Duty. He's gonna try to help his team, and they are off to a good start at 11 and four. Big Timer looking to get his first kill, and now he's cranked, so time's going him down on the clock. Picks up another one, finally gets taken out there. Let's switch on board with Nate Shot, who's actually on the other team, but an Optic Gaming member. So we're gonna get in the eyes of Nate Shot. See if he's able to get his team back on his shoulder. He's gonna pick up his first kill there. So Nate Shot, time dwindling down on the clock. 25 seconds left and cranked. He's gonna play a little bit conservative here to see if he can get a kill. Pops up, takes him out, and nice play by him. Now, Fawiz, it's really important to mention in Call of Duty Ghost. As soon as the first player dies, he's gonna go ahead and drop a briefcase. Now, from that briefcase, you're gonna get a field order. It could be absolutely anything from humiliate your opponent to get a headshot, get two kills whilst prone. If you get that, you're actually gonna go ahead and get a care package. And from that care package, you get absolutely anything. Could even be an Odin Strike. And TP has it right now. So, well, if, if he's able to get the Odin Strike from this, from the field orders, that's it's minimal chance. Because they, uh, they, this, it just decimates yeah. everything. You guys are going to love it. I hope he's able to pull it off here. So TP, 18 nope. seconds left. The field order is down. He was not able to complete it. So now you got to wonder who's able to pick it up. Let's jump on board with Lance Corporal Rodriguez here. He is cranked with 25 seconds left. He's going to try to do something about it. Frantically looking for his team. And now he's got somebody in sights. Gets taken out there. And the field order's yet to be picked up and executed on Benson. Yep, that's going to be somewhere down. Meanwhile... Someone's actually on a five kill streak, but we'll stay on board with him for now as he's actually gonna get attacked from the right. Well, those seeds are played directly in front of him. Uh, so there's actually a night owl flying around there. Yeah. That's nice to see. Someone getting some streaks. Absolutely. And now Clayster of Complexity, he's got the bomb or the field order and not able to do it. He did have the field orders for a quick second there, not able to capitalize on that. Close game between these two squads, 57 and 48, as we're gonna switch in the eyes of Complexity's teammate there, TP. He is also on the squad that has got three consecutive championships now on their belt. They're doing oh, yeah. a great job. He's gonna try to bring that energy and intensity here for his team, 68 to 53. 
And now let's see what TP is able to do. He does. Oh, that was a teammate. There's the kill. And he's going to pick it up. So now TP is cranked. Everyone desperately still looking for those field orders to try to capitalize on that situation. Shock being fired, picks up another kill. TP on a roll. Benson, he's looking good now. He's looking so good. He's currently 9 and 5. He's playing fantastic. 22 seconds left. Field orders have been received. All he now needs to do is actually get a kill. Oh, oh, but he's going to go oh, down. Oh. Field orders failed once again, Blizz. Oh, man. It's tough. You know, it's how oh, yeah. easy because sometimes, you know, it'll be something as simple as getting, you know, one or two kills while prone, but. In a game like Cranked, where everything is moving so quickly and you are, it, it, the energy and intensity is so high, it can be sometimes difficult to execute on that. Let's switch over, and I want to get in the eyes of Corporal Kelly, as now they, they do have the Odin Strike. It looks like that's what's down there. Is that right, Benson? Yeah, the, the, it's bad. They just need to pick it up. Oh, my gosh. It's, I can so see on the map. You can see that little tag just to Corporal Kelly's left-hand side. That is the sign of the Odin Strike. I'm not sure exactly where it's landed on the map. Hopefully they haven't got it. I mean, the chance of getting a minimal if they've got it and thrown it outside the map, well, I, I mean, I did that. It's a bit of a nightmare, really. It happens to the best of us sometimes, yeah, but they've does. not been able to go get it, so we'll see what's able to happen as we're going to stick on the eyes of Corporal Kelly here, see if the U.S. Marines can bring this one home. It is 109 to 78, so incredibly close matchup here between these two squads. Let's see, though, if they can come back. Yep, very, very close game for now. But staying on him now, he is cranked. 24 seconds for him to try and pick up a kill. Obviously, if he doesn't get that kill, he is going to explode. And time is dwindling down. Just 20 seconds left. And now jumping on with Optic Gaming's day shot. He gets taken out. Now he's going to spot back in. Let's see if he's able to pick it up. He is cranked there. 27 seconds left. And now he's moving quickly to see if he can find anybody. You see Riley's on the map as well. Seeing if he can help out Nate Shine Company. Oh, and there it is. Let's see what he's able to do. 18 seconds left. Still looking for somebody to pick up. Time's when he's out. Frantic. He's not. Is he able to get this oh. kill? No. Nate Shot not able to come through with it. He's going to get taken out. 141 to 94. And now we are going to jump over to Big Timer. He's going to have to try to bring his team back in it because they are down and it is looking dismal for this squad. They've got to turn it around right away if they want to do something about it. And Big Timer looking to see if he can pick anybody up. Oh. And that is going to be it. It's going to be the Ghost Squad that pulls that one out. Everyone give it up for your Ghost Squad as they were able to take home the match. Look, I hope everyone enjoyed the match. And that was the first ever live Call of Duty Ghost match. Welcome senior producer Yale Miller. Well, that was awesome. Thanks again for the players uh, and, of course, our toughest competitors, the Marines. So Mark shared with you what your soldier, your team, and your world means to ghosts. I'm going to detail how you can now take Call of Duty anywhere. And it all starts with your Call of Duty account. Two years ago, we connected the Call of Duty community with Call of Duty Elite. And since then, we've listened and we've learned. And with Call of Duty Ghosts, you will see the future of Elite. For the over 20 million of you that have already signed up for Elite, you already have a Call of Duty account. This provides access to a ton of great services. For those of you without a Call of Duty account, simply sign up for free in-game or on the web to enjoy all the benefits. One of those awesome benefits that Eric actually mentioned earlier is the ability to take